What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are going to be testing out a bunch of new drugstore affordable makeup. I'm so excited. You guys know these are some of my favorite videos to film because I am a firm believer in the fact that you don't have to spend a lot of money to look super cute. And I love drugstore makeup so I'm so excited. I have a bunch of new stuff and some things that I have been wanting to try for quite some time. So I cannot wait to share it with you guys today. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first up for primer, we're going to go in with the Fourth Ray Coconut Face Milk. This is part of ColourPop's new coconut collection. We are going to be using the palette from the coconut collection. It's called Going Coconuts. It looks so beautiful, so we're going to be using that today. But I do really like these face milks that they come out with with most of their collections, and I like to use them as primer on my skin. I haven't tried this one yet, and it basically just comes with a dropper, and I just kind of like drop some on my skin, and then I'll work it in with my hands. I do have drier skin, so this is great for me. Ooh, yeah, and this one has a really nice coconut scent. It kind of reminds me of sunscreen, because a lot of sunscreens have coconut scents, but like in a good way. Because I feel like reminding you of sunscreen is not necessarily a good thing, but I like the way coconut smells, and that's kind of what it reminds me of. But it feels really nice on my skin like all the other ones have. It just really helps to like hydrate and plump up your skin and get it ready for foundation application. So I do highly recommend their face milks. I like them a lot. All right, now up next, you guys have been requesting for me to try this for so long. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. I tried the other original foundation that Makeup Revolution came out with, and I wasn't crazy about that one, but I know a lot of people really like it. But this one is supposed to be for more like drier skin types because it is hydrating, so I'm very excited. Um, I got shade F7. I'm going to take the plastic packaging off. I purchased this at Ulta. Um, again, because so many of you guys recommended it to me and wanted me to test it out. The only thing I can say is this packaging is very difficult because like if you see it like this, like it's very difficult to really tell what this shade looks like because it's like a frosted bottle, which I like the frosted bottle, but because at the like drugstore section of Ulta, which is where Makeup Revolution is found, there are no testers. I like have no idea if this is going to work shade wise, so hopefully it does. Oh, wait, did I just... What happened there? Okay, that's weird. So there's a pump, but I accidentally just pulled it off. Let me fix this, because it's all dirty now. This stuff always happens to me. All right, <laughs> take two. Let's go in and apply this. I'm gonna pump it out onto my finger. So this is what it looks like. I think this is definitely gonna be too light, um, but we're gonna be able to make it work with bronzer and everything else. Okay, so that's about two pumps. We're gonna go in with this little ColourPop blending sponge because we're gonna be using this because we're gonna be using their new concealer after to conceal. So they did come out with this sponge, so I'm gonna be using it. It is um, significantly smaller than Beauty Blender, so just something I noticed right off the bat, but we're gonna use it to blend it out. It is very soft, so I do like that. Yeah, in comparison for my neck, this shade is way too light. But, like I said, we're gonna make it all work, don't you guys worry. It is giving me a really nice coverage though, I do really like that. And this ColourPop blender is very, very soft, I like it a lot. This foundation looks really, really nice, like I'm actually really impressed with how it looks. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't match because my neck is just like a completely different color. But it actually looks really beautiful, like on my skin. You can definitely tell that it's hydrating because it is not a matte finish. It's not like super glowy or anything, but I would definitely say it gives a more dewy finish to the skin, which I really like, but it gives a really, really nice coverage. Like that two pumps gave me full, full coverage. So I guess if you used one, it would be like more medium to buildable. Um, but the two pumps gave me beautiful coverage. Like I don't think I need to go in with any more. So I do really like that because I like full coverage. I'll just to go back and get it in a shade that's a little bit better for me. But the foundation itself actually looks really beautiful. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know like I'll obviously wear it throughout this tutorial So we'll check it again at the end and then I will update the description box with how it wears throughout the day But upon first application, I really really like it. So you guys were right with your recommendation to me Thank you so much. All right up next. We're gonna jump in to concealer So this is the new pretty fresh concealer from ColourPop. They came out with a tinted moisturizer I want to say like a month month and a half ago in this pretty fresh line and I really really liked it So I'm very interested to see the hyaluronic creamy concealer. This is supposed to be completely different than though because the tinted moisturizer was a very very light coverage it was really just giving a tint to your skin where this is actually supposed to be I believe they said medium to full coverage we're gonna put that to the test I have fair 15w right here I have a couple other ones but we're gonna go in with this one first little doe foot applicator and apply 
feels nice upon first application. The little doe foot has a lot of movement to it, which I like. It's not like hard on your under eyes. You want to make sure any product you're applying to your under eyes is soft because it's such a delicate area. I'm going to bring this down in the center part of my face too, just to balance out the highlight. It does feel like creamy and hydrating upon application, so I'm kind of like fingers crossed that it's not going to make, I didn't even cross my fingers, fingers crossed um, that it's not going to make me dry. But I mean, it does have hyaluronic acid in it, which helps to um, your skin retain moisture, so. Blending out nicely. Looks pretty good so far. I've honestly got to give it to ColourCop because they launch so many things. It's like every other week they're launching something else. But like it's consistently good stuff. So I mean I feel like you can't really complain. Because it's one thing if a brand is like launching a bunch of stuff and then their quality is going down because of it. Which happens a lot of the time. But I honestly feel as though ColourPop really has consistently good quality things. Like I like most of the things that I try from them and the price point is great. So I can't complain about how much, you know, they launch because at least they're good products, you know. <laughs> I blend it out really nicely on my under eyes. It looks pretty good. I'm sorry if the lighting is changing throughout this video. The um, sun is going in and out of the clouds behind me. This will actually be the last video you guys see with this background because I'm annoyed with how the lighting is always shifting because I have like the outdoors in the background like it looks nice but it's very difficult to film with it because when the sun moves and the lighting changes so this will be the last video I filmed with this background um, I bought a bunch of stuff for a new background so you guys will likely see that in the next video this actually looks really, really beautiful. It blends it out really easily and really nice. It definitely gave me a nice coverage. It's going to cover up any dark circles or anything you have going on. And I think it looks beautiful and it feels really nice on my under eyes, at least as of right now. So of course I will keep you guys updated and check the description box for um, updates at the end of the day. And this little blender sponge was good too. I don't have any new setting powder, so I'm just going to jump in with my Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana to go ahead and set my under eyes. You guys know this is like my forever favorite, so I'm just going to go in and do that. And then to set all over my face, I'm just going to jump in with this Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten in Medium. This is going to help just to bring the foundation as a closer match to my neck. <laughs> Luckily, I am wearing kind of like a mock turtleneck today. So it's not as glaringly obvious that my face doesn't match from that foundation. Um, but we're going to use this powder to help everything just kind of match together. I definitely am, though, going to go back and get that foundation in another color because it looks really, really nice as long as it lasts well. So I have high hopes about it. I have the new Dan and Shay Justin Bieber 10,000 Hour song stuck so far in my head. I keep singing it to myself. Oh my gosh. Has anyone been listening to that song? I think it's such a cute song and it is so stuck in my head right now. I would sing it for you guys, but I'll probably get copyright. So not going to sing it, but you guys know the song, I'm sure. All right, so I zoomed you guys in so we can get started on our brows and our eyes. For our brows, we're going to go in with Maybelline the Brow Ultra Slim. So this is a tiny little brow pencil, which is typically how I like my brow pencils to be. It has a little spoolie on one side and then the product on the other. The shade on this is Soft Brown. And I'm going to just fill in my brows with this. I did just recently tint my brows. I have a full video coming on that um, as well as other things that I kind of do to like pamper myself so that video is coming but this shade actually matches it pretty good and I'm just gonna lightly feather in the front this formula definitely has a decent amount of wax to it um, which is good because it helps to keep your brows in place but sometimes it can make your brows look fake if you like overdo it and you put too much on. So I'm just going to run through with the spoolie and just keep them nice and light and still look feathery. Because sometimes it can like tack your brows down and then they just don't look normal. Um, but it's not like overly waxy. Like there are some that you can't even work with. This one isn't like that. I just would definitely say to go a little bit lighter handed with it. So you still have that real like hair look on your brows. I'm just gonna go in and fill in my other brow as well. The shade is actually really perfect because it's not overly warm or cool, just very neutral. Like sometimes soft brown can be very warm in certain brands where I like that this one isn't because normally medium brown is too dark for me to use. 
All right, now we're gonna jump in with the Going Coconuts palette as promised from ColourPop. This looks so pretty. As soon as I saw this online, I was like, <gasps> cause over the summer they dropped like a bunch of colorful palettes, which I love and it's really nice to have them in my collection, but this is like my heart, you guys know that. Nice and neutral um, and it looks so pretty. So I'm first gonna go in with a lovely bunch and I'm gonna just blend that in my crease area. I'm actually using a ColourPop blush to do this. I really like their eye brushes. I think they're actually really, really nice, especially for the price, you can't beat it. So I'm just gonna gonna work this in my crease. I wonder what their next little palette is gonna be because like they did yellow, they did orange, they did purple, they did pink. Now they have the coconut one which is like neutral. So like I'm trying to think like what color have they not done? I don't know if they did green. Maybe that's the next one, I don't know. But ColourPop has done a lot of these little palettes and I do really like them. Up next, we're going to jump in with Shell Yeah. This is like a red tone brown, which I really, really love these shades to give a little warmth to the eyes. So I'm going to just work this into that crease as well. Ooh, this is so pretty together. I love that. Everything seems to be blending super easily as well, which is nice. Then we're going to go with the darkest shade in the palette, which is Nutty. And I'm going to work this on the outer part of that crease area. And I'm also gonna bring it on my lower lash line and really smoke it out. Then for all over the lid, I'm gonna go in with Cocoa Crush. And I'm gonna pack that on the lid. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty, wow. All righty. She is sparkling. I did not think it was gonna be this metallic, wow. So I'm gonna just work this on the lid. I love beautiful metallic shades like this. Dang. This is going to be getting a lot of use this holiday season, I think, this shade right here. Oh. Then I'm going to go in with the lightest shimmer shade in Palm Reader, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner just to really make that pop. Yes. Oh my gosh. Because one thing I did notice about this palette is they don't have a pressed glitter like they have in a lot of their other palettes. There's just like three really shimmery metallic shades, one that has a little glitter and then the rest are matte, but I love that because these metallic shades are beautiful. So I am all about all the metallics. So I'm just gonna put that beneath my brow bone as well. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really think this eye look needs anything else. It's beautiful on its own, but I do really want to try this eye glisten. This is from Makeup Revolution, um, and it's in the shade It's Fate. So I'm going to put a little bit of this glitter on top just to really give it some ba-ba-boom because this looks really, really pretty. There's like a glitter on one side and then the other side is like a foil, but I like the glitter, you guys know. So I'm going to just go in and add this on top. Just to add a little more sparkle and shine. This would probably be a really pretty look for like a holiday party or something. It's definitely a more subtle glitter, but it's beautiful. Like you can definitely tell the difference between this eye and this eye. And it just really amps it up. I don't love the doe foot on this. Like I feel like it's hard to kind of apply it with this for some reason. I do feel like this picked up a little bit of the eyeshadow underneath, so I don't love that. It might've been better for me to just stick like a brush, like use a brush with instead of applying it directly with this doe foot I feel like a brush would have picked up less of the shadow so just something you can try if you do try it at home up next we have a new liner from Pro Fusion. you can get Pro Fusion at Walmart or Target um, and this is their wing it super fine eyeliner so we are gonna be doing lashes today so I want to go in and do a thin line with this it's like a little felt tip liner but it's a very very tiny which is great to be able to really get in and be precise let me push these lash extensions out of the way and I'm gonna just go in and do a thin line. It's very pigmented. So I'm like barely touching this on my eye. This is actually really nice, like the thin applicator is great. And then for our lashes, I wanna go in with these new lashes. These are from Salon Perfect, which you guys know they're my favorite lash brand. Like They're literally the best, you can get them at Walmart. Um, and they did a collab with Britney Bear, and these are the exotic lash. They look super pretty, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna go in and pop this on. They're super easy to apply to because they have the thin band still, which I love. The lashes that I always wear from Salon Perfect are their 614s, and these remind me of them a lot, but they're just like a little bit fluffier, so they are beautiful if you like the 614s. In our waterline, I'm gonna go in with the Revlon So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner. This is just in black, and I'm just gonna pop this in our waterline. 
like so. This is a newer eyeliner, which is why I want to use it, but there are definitely more pigmented black liners that you can use. Um, it gets the job done. Like, you can see that I have black in my waterline, but it's definitely not, like, super, super pigmented, so I don't know that it's my favorite. And then I'm just going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara just to blend everything together. All right, now we're going to go in and finish off the face. Now, there are two bronzers in the Coconut Collection. There's, like, a lighter one and a darker one. Coconut Beach is the lighter one, and it's a little bit more yellow-toned, where Talk to the Palm is a little bit more warm-toned. So I'm going to go in with that one. Does it smell like coconut? No, doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to go in with this to warm up our face. Had my foundation match my neck perfectly, I probably would have went in with the lighter one, but I do feel like we still need a little warmth back in the face for everything to kind of mesh together, which is why I'm going in with the warmer one. But this can definitely be really built up to make it dark, so I am going with a very light hand. And I'm actually gonna jump in with the lighter one, which is Coconut Beach, to contour my nose. And I'm gonna go in and do that. And now my neighbor is mowing their lawn, so I hope that you guys can hear that. Reasons why my next house is gonna be all by itself with no neighbors um because obviously i mean i'm not mad at them for cutting their lawn it just i hate if you guys have to hear like an annoying sound so i was actually going to film this video yesterday and my other neighbor was getting like a tree cut down in their backyard and it was very loud so i couldn't film the video yesterday and i waited till today and now a different neighbor is cutting their lawn but it's almost going to be the winter time so we won't have to deal with that anymore um for our blush i'm going to go in with this from ColourPop. this is from their whatever collection and this is their super shock cheek blush in a drop of a hat it looks really, really pretty. It has some nice shimmer to it. So I'm going to go in with this on the cheeks. Ooh, yeah. It has a really pretty sheen to it. I like that. Very pretty. Up next for a highlighter, I'm really excited because I have not tried anything from this brand, I don't think. But they sent me out some highlights and I thought they looked so pretty. This is from the brand Koki. I know you can get them at Rite Aid and you can also get them at Harmons if you live near Harmons. I love Harmons. We have it in New Jersey. It's kind of like a beauty supply store slash drugstore. But this is their Soft Glow Highlighter in the shade Heavenly. So I'm going to go in with this. It looks so pretty. And we're going to go in. Ooh. <gasps> That is beautiful. Wow, I love this. I love golden toned highlighters, and this is stunning. You can definitely make it like more subtle, like that's just like a little bit, or if you really wanna pop and glow like me, then you can work it up. Wow, ooh, I like this. And this is super affordable too. It's like five or six bucks depending on where you purchase it from, which is awesome. And there are a couple different shades. I wanna say there's like four or five of these, but this one in Heavenly was the one that kind of spoke to me, the golden one. Ooh, wow. I really like this. Ooh, I wanna try more of their stuff, dang. All right, now last but not least, we have our lips, and I really wanna go in with the Nabella X Elf Cosmetics collab. So there is a lip liner as well as a liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna be using these today. They look really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with the lip liner first. And just align my lips. And now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lippy. Ooh, I love this shade. It's like a worn toned nude. So, so pretty, I love this. All right, you guys, so that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and testing out some new products with me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.